Welcome, fellow travelers and wanderlust enthusiasts, to another exciting adventure brought to you by Travelistic. Today, we're diving into the enchanting world of Scotland, where history, culture, and breathtaking landscapes come together to create a journey you'll cherish forever. But before we embark on our Scottish adventure, let's take a moment to understand why having a travel checklist is essential. Scotland isn't just a destination, it's an experience waiting to unfold. Picture this, you've landed in Scotland, the crisp, highland air tingling your senses, your heart races with excitement, but then reality hits you you're overwhelmed with choices. There's so much to see, do, and experience. Without a plan, you risk missing out on the best Scotland has to offer, but fear not, we have got you the ultimate checklist that is all about making your Scottish adventure unforgettable. So, let's dive right into it. Imagine yourself strolling along pristine beaches, waves lapping at your feet, with a backdrop of rugged cliffs and the Atlantic Ocean stretching to the horizon. Inside the Hebrides that's divided into Inner and Outer Hebrides, You'll find palm trees growing somewhat incongruously in this northern land. South American plants thrive here, adding a unique twist to the Scottish landscape. It's not uncommon to stumble upon a white sand beach all to yourself, making it an ideal escape for those seeking solitude in nature. And if you're into hiking, Scotland's remote glens are a must-see. Hike up Ben Lomond for a casual adventure or take on the challenge of Bielach Norba, a road that traverses through the Apple Cross Peninsula's mountains. Let's talk about Scotland's rich cultural experiences. Take a stroll down the Royal Mile in Edinburgh, where you will discover the city's captivating history. From Edinburgh Castle to the Palace of Holyrood House, the Royal Mile, a cobblestone stretch connecting Edinburgh Castle to the Palace of Holyrood House, is the heart and soul of Edinburgh's old town. As you walk this historic mile, you will find yourself surrounded by a number of shops, pubs, restaurants, cafes, and various attractions. Along the way, the Scotch whiskey experience is a must-visit for any whiskey enthusiast. It's a journey through the essence of Scotland's most famous export whiskey. Whether you're a seasoned connoisseur or a curious nervous, this experience promises to ignite your passion for Scotland's liquid gold. Scotland's cuisine is a treat for your taste buds. Don't leave without trying the famous Scottish tablet, a sweet treat dating back to the 1700s. Scottish tablet, often described as a cousin of fudge, offers a delightful sugar rush. Historians believe that the first tablet recipe was recorded in 1700, making it a cherished part of Scotland's culinary heritage. And of course, there's haggis, a true Scottish delicacy. Haggis, the national dish of Scotland, is a culinary experience like no other. It's made from the liver, lungs, and heart of a sheep, mixed with beef or mutton suet, oatmeal, onion, and spices. Traditionally, it's cooked in a bag made from the animal's stomach, adding to its unique character. The result is a peppery, almost sausage-like delight that's a must-try for adventurous eaters. But for those who prefer not to indulge in meat, there is a delicious alternative that captures the essence of the traditional dish while catering to a broader range of tastes. Scotland's culinary landscape has something for everyone, making it a gastronomic paradise waiting to be explored. After an adventurous day, cozy up by a fireplace at one of Scotland's finest hotels, like Glen Eagles or the Fye Farms, where you can savor a fine whiskey and unwind in style. Glen Eagles, a five-star hotel renowned for its country pursuits, invites guests to sip fireside cocktails at the American Bar. The warmth of the roaring fire, combined with the soothing ambience, creates the perfect setting for relaxation and reflection. And for those staying at the Fye Farms, a remarkable whiskey experience awaits in the drying room. Sip on Scotland's liquid gold while surrounded by the hotel's captivating art collection and luxurious decor. It's a journey into the heart of Scotland's cultural and luxurious heritage. For winter sports enthusiasts, the Cairngorms National Park is your playground. With 30 kilometers of runs and a range of difficulty levels, it's an ideal spot for skiers and snowboarders. As winter descends upon the Scottish Highlands, 
the Cairngorms transform into a snowy wonderland. This national park boasts a wide range of winter sports activities, from downhill skiing and snowboarding to cross-country skiing and snowshoeing. And if you're here during the holiday season, don't miss the Edinburgh Winter Festival, a magical wonderland in Prince's Street Gardens with mulled wine, sausages, and enchanting gifts. As late November ushers in the holiday season, Edinburgh comes alive with festive spirit. The Edinburgh Winter Festival, spanning from late November to early January, is a magical celebration that enchants visitors of all ages. Now, it's time to explore Scotland's hidden gems. Visit the Highland Folk Museum, a time capsule of Highland life, or drive to the awe-inspiring Glencoe, known for its breathtaking landscapes and rich history. The Highland Folk Museum, Britain's first open-air museum, offers a captivating journey back in time, with 35 historical buildings and live actors bringing the past to life. It's an immersive experience that transports you to the Highland life from the 1700s to the 1950s. Glencoe, located in the Scottish Highlands, is an awe-inspiring spot for hill walking, mountaineering, and waterfall spotting. The dramatic landscapes of Glencoe were formed through violent volcanic eruptions and then sculpted by massive glaciers. It's a place where history, wildlife, adventure, and myth converge. For the movie buffs, ride the Jacobite steam train, which crosses the iconic Glenfin and Viaduct. Famous from the Harry Potter films, it's a journey through cinematic history. The Glenfin and Viaduct, with its striking arches, holds a special place in the hearts of Harry Potter admirers. It's part of the iconic Hogwarts Express route, and you can experience its magic firsthand by taking a ride on the Jacobite steam train. This 84-mile round trip, starting in Fort William and ending in Mallow, offers breathtaking views of the Scottish Highlands, including the famous viaduct. Scotland houses thousands of freshwater locks, many of which welcome wild swimming. Whether it's Loch Lomond, Loch Dintelchig for snorkeling, or Loch Awe with its diverse wildlife, there's a lock for everyone. Loch Lomond, often referred to as the Queen of Scottish Lakes, is a haven for those seeking relaxation and water-based activities. Its tranquil waters, surrounded by rolling hills, are perfect for wild swimming, boating, and picnicking. Lace up your boots and take on the West Highland Way, a 96-mile walking path that showcases the stunning landscapes of Scotland. The West Highland Way is a long-distance walking route that traverses some of Scotland's most spectacular landscapes. Covering a distance of 96 miles from Milngavy to Fort William, it takes you through a variety of trains, from rolling moorland to towering mountains. As you walk, you'll be treated to breathtaking vistas, charming villages, and the opportunity to connect with nature in its purest form. Art lovers rejoice! Every August, the Edinburgh Art Festival brings together established and emerging artists, creating a vibrant celebration of visual arts. The Edinburgh Art Festival is the UK's largest annual festival of visual arts, and it's a testament to Scotland's thriving art scene. Throughout the month of August, the festival transforms the city into a dynamic hub of creativity. Visitors can explore exhibitions, projects, and events that showcase the work of both established artists and up-and-coming talents. It's an opportunity to immerse yourself in the world of art and gain fresh perspectives on creativity. For history lovers, a visit to the Culloden Battlefield is a must. Culloden Battlefield, located near Inverness, is a place of great historical significance. It's where the 1745 Jacobite Rising, led by Bonnie Prince Charlie, came to a tragic end. The battlefield is a powerful and emotive place, where visitors can step back in time and learn about this pivotal event in Scottish history. The Culloden Visitor Center offers a wealth of information, interactive displays, and a museum that delves into the details of the battle. And finally, step aboard the Royal Yacht Britannia. The floating palace served as the royal residence for Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II and the royal family for over 40 years. Explore the engine room, the crew's quarters, and the opulent state apartments.
To cap it all off, embark on the ultimate Scottish road trip, the North Coast 500, often abbreviated as NC500, is a dream come true for road trip enthusiasts. It's a 516-mile circuit that circumnavigates the northernmost regions of Scotland, taking you through some of the most breathtaking scenery you'll ever witness. Remember, no matter where your heart leads you in Scotland, each experience is a page in the travelogue of your life. Thanks for joining us on this captivating journey. Stay tuned for more exciting travel destinations on Travelistic. Until then, pack your bags and let's explore the world together.